Step up this way to riches one. Be bold enough to claim that it is your right to be rich and your deeper mind will honor your claim. 2. You don't want just enough to go around. You want all of the money you need to do all the things you want to do and when you want to do them. Get acquainted with the riches of your subconscious mind. 115. 3. When money is circulating freely in your life, you are economically healthy. Look at money like the tide and you will always have plenty of it. The ebb and flow of the tide is constant. When the tide is out, you are absolutely sure that it will return. 4. Knowing the laws of your subconscious mind, you will always be supplied regardless of what form money takes. 5. One reason many people simply make ends meet and never have enough money is that they condemn money. What you condemn takes swings and flies away. 6. Do not make a god of money. It is only a symbol. Remember that the real riches are in your mind. You are here to lead a balanced life, this includes acquiring all the money you need. 7. Don't make money your sole aim. Claim wealth, happiness, peace, true expression, and love, and personally radiate love and goodwill to all. Then your subconscious mind will give you compound interest in all these fields of expression. 8. There is no virtue in poverty. It is a disease of the mind, and you should heal yourself of this mental conflict or malady at once. 9. You are not here to live in a hovel, to dress in rags, or to go hungry. You are here to lead the life more abundant. 10. Never use the terms filthy lucre or I despise money. You lose what you criticize. There is nothing good or bad, but thinking of it in neither light makes it so. 11. Repeat frequently, I like money. I use it wisely, constructively, and judiciously. I release it with joy, and it returns a thousandfold. 12. Money is not evil any more so than copper, lead, tin, or iron which you may find in the ground. All evil is due to ignorance and misuse of the mind's powers. 13. To picture the end result in your mind causes your subconscious to respond and fulfill your mental picture. 116. 14. Stop trying to get something for nothing. There is no such thing as a free lunch. You must give to receive. You must give mental attention to your goals, ideals, and enterprises, and your deeper mind will back you up. The key to wealth is application of the laws of the subconscious mind by impregnating it with the idea of wealth. 117. 11. Your subconscious mind as a partner in success Success means successful living. A long period of peace, joy, and happiness on this plane may be termed success. The eternal experience of these qualities is the everlasting life spoken of by Jesus. The real things of life, such as peace, harmony, integrity, security, and happiness are intangible. They come from the deep self of man. Meditating on these qualities builds these treasures of heaven in our subconscious. It is where moth and rust do not consume, and where thieves do not break through and steal. Matt. 620. The three steps to success Let us discuss three steps to success. The first step to success is to find out the thing you love to do, then do it. Success is in loving your work. Although, if a man is a psychiatrist, it is not adequate for him to get a diploma and place it on the wall, he must keep up with the times, attend conventions, and continue studying the mind and its workings. The successful psychiatrist visits clinics and reads the latest scientific articles. In other words, he is informed in the most advanced methods of alleviating human suffering. The successful psychiatrist or doctor must have the interest of his patients at heart. Someone may say, how can I put the first step into operation? I do not know what I should do. In such a case, pray for guidance as follows, the infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind reveals to me my true place in life. Repeat this prayer quietly, positively, and lovingly to your deeper mind. As you persist with faith and confidence, the answer will come to you as a feeling, a hunch, or a tendency in a certain direction. It will come to you clearly and in peace, and as an inner silent awareness. 118. The second step to success is to specialize in some particular branch of work and know more about it than anyone else. For example, if a young man chooses chemistry as his profession, 
He should concentrate on one of the many branches in this field. He should give all of his time and attention to his chosen specialty. He should become sufficiently enthusiastic to try to know all there is available about his field, if possible, he should know more than anyone else. The young man should become ardently interested in his work and should desire to serve the world. He that is greatest among you, let him become your servant. There is a great contrast in this attitude of mind in comparison to that of the man who only wants to make a living or just get by. Getting by is not true success. Man's motive must be greater, nobler, and more altruistic. He must serve others, thereby casting his bread upon the waters. The third step is the most important one. You must be sure that the thing you want to do does not redound to your success only. Your desire must not be selfish, it must benefit humanity. The path of a complete circuit must be formed. In other words, your idea must go forth with the purpose of blessing or serving the world. It will then come back to you pressed down, shaken together, and running over. If it is to benefit yourself exclusively, the circle or complete circuit is not formed, and you may experience a short circuit in your life which may consist of limitation or sickness.